Hi, let's talk about Purple Biotech. It's a clinical stage pharmaceutical company that focuses on development and commercialization of various pharmaceutical drugs in the United States. And usually we start if it's biotech company, biopharmaceuticalcatalyst.com, good site to analyze the drugs pipelines and uh, upcoming catalyst. So here we see that yesterday was the new clinical data from the drug called NT219 uh, squam cell sign of uh, head and neck and they actually have one of the drug approved three years ago kit 302 now this is a new drug that is currently on the stage phase uh, is it like half or initial data presented usually this is actually the phase one but um, I think they uh, bring the data to to move forward from the the previous phase but usually the, the there's a first step phase one and uh, yeah, there's a lot of risks that uh, consider the stock very highly volatile share price. Earnings have uh, declined by 24% per year over the past five years. Shareholders have been subsequently indicted in the past year. And also it makes less than 1 million in revenue. It's actually 1,000. So I'm not quite sure did they even sell the, the, the drug that they have. Uh, actually there it is 1000 so that that is pretty interesting so they have approved the drug but they are selling it on the 1000 so total sales 1000 but anyway there's was as usually in the biotech companies they have only like product updates that are making the stock pump very like if we open Finvis so the announcement of any any kind of uh, FDA approvement or stage movement or so on it will affect directly on the stock price so we have this February mid February usually biotech companies made pretty good returns and yeah, it's pretty volatile. So we see here in last year's August, highest point were around 9.79. So around $10 were the peak on last year, August. Then it drops to four. So there's more than, yeah, around 60% minus. Then they go back again, like to seven then back so this is actually this current level the the stock is i think they the, there's a high possibility that it could drop down there's a very good support level some around uh, not a four but three point three point seventy five or so and there would be good buying opportunities for if you're interested in Anyway, market performance, one year turn, 19% beats the industry, but not the market. Long-term price volatility considered as highest. And yeah, as you, we can see here, three years return, minus 79, five year return, minus 87. So usually small companies that have been not acquired as fast as investor would like to they keep just going and decreasing the the stock is just de decreasing I see here that yeah I had headquarters is rail founded in 1968 that is uh, actually for the investor very very interesting information so five year turn five years uh, Previously, $65, yeah, so minus 90. Is this 
the volatility that you can allow to yourself or is it better to buy some of the for example fund on the industry or low cost fund on S&P 500 so if your risk taking abilities allows you to to play with stocks and you are more of kind of a trader type it's better to yeah three three point three point something would be good price to to enter but of course this is not financial advice and for information not considered investment advice i do only my research how i look at these things valuation side 1.31 and of course yeah t price unfortunately has not any price targets but market watch do an average stock price target is currently 25 dollars so i think they could jump to these numbers that they had three years ago when they had the improvement of the of the drug one of the drugs and yeah future growth 14.7 percent not so much but the dynamics show they get deeply into the minus on the earnings and they got pretty stabi yeah, stable so here's ah actually it's one million so it's not 1000 actually it's 1 million 1.1 yeah they i think they have the contract because usually if the the same price within few years it's usually the contract that they have but somehow the earnings are just i think that's why um, maybe that's affecting on the new researching usually this kind of companies uh, put on technology put on disruption and so on but we'll we'll go for further with the information earnings per share growth is forecasted it's not actually forecasted so we see here actual level is minus 0 0.24 that means the company is unprofitable best performance historical annual earning growth decreasing by 24 percent yeah the the dynamic is not so good and financial health side yeah the good news that the company is debt free they have uh, some of the cash levels seven fifty seven million yeah they actually raised some of the capital in early last year 2020 and I think this is uh, because of the shares outstanding just keep like huge, hugely increasing currently 115 million and they were a few years ago like 10 times less so that is of course affecting on the price that is why the the stock price could go down and, but for the company is good they have some of the cash for doing researches and so on balance sheet looks green they are not paying dividends okay insider tr transactions no volumes ownership breakdown yeah mostly mostly general public holding this kind of companies 81 percent institutions 11 vcp firms 5.4 insiders less than two percent top shareholders morgan stanley decreasing third of what they have some of the increasing renaissance technologies i don't see here for example blackrock or the vanguard but it, many of them decreasing so i see here 97 percent even 90 percent so that could be affecting on price as well because they have 
big positions on so if, if some were selling the two million uh, that's a big position and uh, of course it will affect the price potentially yeah and uh, investing.com selling the stock for long-term investors as a neutral thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in the video one